All right, and we got another episode in Great Arizona Coffee. Today I did Crave. What is Crave in Arizona? I guess it's an espresso bar near where I live in the coffee district. What I'm calling the coffee district. Really, I can say it might be one of the most trendiest coffee spots in town. Um, because it's got a bigger, more kind of hipster environment than... Uh, you know, the other coffee place nearby, Savaya, which I have not yet reviewed. Um, you know, bicycles, they have kegs of craft beer now and various treats. Really kind of an inviting place to, you know, camp out and do stuff, which is exactly what I got once I was there. I had, you know, eight or nine people just camping out with their, like, textbooks and their laptops getting work done our favorite kind of coffee people coffee nation I don't get work done but uh, interesting little story uh, they got three sizes of coffee one time I went in with a friend and got a cappuccino and we both did we both did he got a 12 ounce I got a 16 or the next size up mine came with latte or his didn't I think I got the picture somewhere So yeah, uh, so I got two things, I got an espresso, I got a coffee, the little spill stopper on the coffee is a sticker that says keep calm, smile on, how much do those cost, crave coffee, the hell, I'm paying for that on top of the coffee, and then they don't actually have like the monogram things, but I swear at one point they did. To go espresso cup, nobody has really just gotten to it to just serve espresso in like a little Dixie cup. What do we got? No foam, no foam in the espresso, double shot, let's see. Not bad. Mm. It's kind of savory, kind of sour. wish there was some foam, but it might have just been because I traveled. Really, I should just start re-foaming these with my own espresso machine. It might fix the taste. Um, but yeah, overall, the actual espresso mix is pretty good. And now, house coffee. Hmm. Okay. It's a very light and mellow roast. I didn't specify what origin, but they have packaged coffees now um, that they sell Coffee Nation. Packaged coffee is like, you know, beans, whole beans. And they have beer and stuff, so I would suggest definitely checking it out. It is another great Arizona cup of coffee. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, as you can see for the latte story or the cappuccino story, one had latte or one did not, um, and obviously I bought the bigger size, which is why mine got the latte or, but I was laughing really <laughs> and kind of taunting the staff. I was like, Ooh, the staff has a crush on me. <laughs> And he's just like, yeah, fuck off. But anyway, yeah, funny. Bit of a story. I'd say I probably had the most interesting stories there because they try to be, they try to have it all at like Crave Coffee. You know, true Tucson business. They just can't do one thing. They have to do it all. So, you know, one time I got a Turkish coffee there. And I got it, they gave it to me in this, like, ornamental cup. And the coffee was super hot, but the cup itself had very shitty insulation, so you couldn't pick it up without burning your hand. So, again, pretty interesting. I don't go there to do work, but it is pretty interesting. So I would say visit, you know, try it out. 
And like always, stay coffee.